The idea or the issue of communication both within the marriage between husband and wife as well as the children is extremely important. And we'd also like to open one more door of communication or the importance of one more point of communication is between the parents and the children, the in-laws and the sons or daughters-in-law. That is also a very, very important door. And remember one thing, whenever you want to correct someone, don't hold back. Whenever you want to correct someone, even if they are going to feel bad, for as long as you are polite and respectful, subhanallah, if they are decent human beings, they will understand it. If not today, then tomorrow. You are not allowed to leave back correction where you feel that someone is going wrong. You need to address it as soon as possible because if you don't, they will plunge deeper into the disaster and it may have a ripple effect or a skittling effect whereby so many other people will be harmed by the damage of you not having corrected the individual or the person. So even if your parents are going wrong, your children are going wrong, your spouse is going wrong, your in-laws are going wrong and so on, you need to, with utmost respect, open the doors of communication and speak to them inshallah. And through this communication, we will achieve and receive goodness inshallah if we are sincere and we are good. There is one more point before I end for this evening and that is many times, many times as human nature, as human nature, people think that they are the only ones who are right. And what happens is you sit and you listen to an opinion and you say, no ways, this is out. Believe me, the criteria is whether or not Allah has commanded it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger have instructed something, yes, then we will shut off and we will listen to that inshallah. But when it comes to other opinions of this world, your spouse, your children, your parents, your in-laws, believe me, it cannot be overstressed for us to say that we definitely need to listen to others' opinions and give up your view. Giving up your view at times when it really is just a worldly opinion is sometimes a very great act of worship and it will help resolve and solve so many problems in your marriages and in your homes just by giving up your opinion you definitely dearly think and believe that things must happen this way believe me for once please try and turn and see another direction may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in every single way we need to make a dua that Allah grant us spouses and children who will be the coolness of our eyes. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Furqan, describing the believers, the true believers. He says, وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنْ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا the true believers are those who make a prayer to say, Oh Allah, grant us from our wives and our children, those who will be the coolness of our eyes and make us leaders of the righteous, subhanallah. So this dua, we need to make it on a constant basis. The reason is, if you are not married, Allah will grant you a spouse who will be the coolness of your eyes together with righteousness. And if you are married, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can help improve your condition as well as the condition of your spouse through the same dua and supplication. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us happiness in this dunya as well as in the akhirah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us help one another. And at the same time, may He really help us to enter Jannah through His mercy. 